Hello guys, how are you all doing? Glucodge here, and today we're doing an unboxing and to see how how it, how a twenty-five pound digi box is like, and this is more of a new one because it has a HD HDMI uh, ports and it's more modern than the other one. And the reason why I bought this was I was going to originally buy a uh, Scott a HDMI adapter, but the one digi box I already had uh, there was no audio, it was uh, there was some sort of fault, it was broken. So as you can tell. As I'm going to show you right now, there was a massive, uh, we saw, we fixed it, and it sort of worked. Okay, today, did you watch this game? <laughs> <laughs> did you watch this? <laughs> So yeah, um, as it's told, the, the repair didn't really last so much long, because it, uh, it, well, it sort of destroyed itself, thanks for a little help from me. But uh, either way, we've got this new one. It was better anyway, and it'll probably work better because it's a little bit newer. But we're going to see how this is like, because this is meant to be... This is just like any of you sort of like cheap Chinese, God knows what. The other one was a Polaroid that uh, you saw me destroy, destroying in real life, actually. Uh, that was at school, surprisingly. Uh, any of you card, some sort. Yeah. Um, and then it got inside, we've just got a package instruction manual. I'm sure we won't need that, but who knows with Chinese things, they're often in sort of weird kind of um, instructions. So, and we got some batteries included, that's cool. Who knows if they've got any charge in them. Um, this box really doesn't like to stand up. In here, I guess we've got our remote. Yes, we have. Surprisingly, it is very thin versus the other one, so that's not too bad. I'll just put that over here with the batteries. They're very cold, so I only believe they may still work or they, or they will not. Who knows because of how long this may, this thing may have sat on the shelf. But anyway, I'll bring you guys back a bit. And uh, we're about to get this thing out of its box. So, yeah. Uh, there it is. Now I will say versus the pictures, this is a very small one. It's small. It's a definitely smaller than what I, the one I originally had. Um, so I'll just get this box out of the way, and there it is. Now I gotta say the other one was completely plastic, but they have definitely got smaller over the years. The digital boxes when you could buy originally were used to be about probably wider than this windowsill that I'm filming on, and about this wide. Then the original one that I had was probably about the same size, but maybe just a little bit more about that but this one's a significant color but what's more special about this is uh it's got a usb uh port on it i i suppose you can get things with most of but it's got a usb port so if you stick a stick in it'll actually record on it that is uh quite impressive so we'll have to check that out um but apart from that though that is the main reason why i also bought this is uh it's got a it's got an aerial in of course but it's got a hdmi lead and a scott lead and you normally don't buy these for I can tell you that's HDMI in some cases because, well, these are more still useful um, to old brick tellies from when they switched off the analog to digital. But the reason why I bought this is mostly because I still have an updated telly, but I bought a projector recently that's going in my conservatory, and recently I've started with some films and stuff I would still like on air telly, so I bought this because I could watch on air telly just because there's not really much places you can play most things on line on live apart from on demand so i bought this for a specific reason and uh that's the reason why so uh, i'm going to set it i'm going to show you how you set it up and uh we'll see how it's like now i've got all the devices going up uh so i've just got bits of packaging a bit over the place so you have to excuse me but um basically though the reason why i am not going to conservatories to set it is mostly because one i haven't I uh, I can actually film here, I suppose. First of all, one reason is, um, first of all, I don't have the projector yet, even when I have a telly downstairs, because um, that's why all these pillows are everywhere, it's because my uh, mum and dad's room is being, being repainted and stuff like that, it's actually in the progress right now. And one is, is, the reason is, it's actually Friday right now, and I should be in school, surprisingly. Um, but, as you can probably tell by this, window hopefully the camera can sort of pay it or you can sort of make it out is uh there's actually been a snow blizzard of me of the time of making this video so uh things have gone to a bit of a change but i've actually luckily though i would have probably had to go to the paint to the post office to pick this up uh but luckily i was attached the snow blizzard was here and the, and the actual delivery things were still going out so i've actually managed i've actually managed to get this without a problem 
But um, yeah, that's good news. But uh, either way, uh, we're, I'm going to get this uh, set up. So I'm going to show you. So I'm going to sort of show you how you how you can do it. Um, so now, even when the aerial in my um, play in my playhouse, no, in my uh, conservatory is a bit different. Um, I'm going to set it up here anyway, just to see if it works at all, because I don't want to get on Christmas and find it completely, it doesn't work, but it's good to test it anyway, so I'm going to peel off the protective plastic, as for some reason it won't stick to the rest of it anymore, so we'll set that off, very snazzy, <laughs> yeah, just get rid of that, um, I'm going to undo this wiring tie, just because it's not going to reach to where I need it, so I'm just going to unplug all of this and just move this out of the way, just because there's a lot of space to work with, um, so horse it there should work just fine. Um, <coughs> yeah, you know what? I'll catch you guys in just in a bit because you can't really see what I'm doing. The news: my battery is about to die. Okay, then, guys. Um, now I've I've have to move it around. I couldn't get my uh, TV out of your cable to reach it because it's cabled down to my TV stand. But I'm just about to connect the HDMI cable and turn it on and see if this thing actually works. So I'm just going to bring it around, uh, plug it in, right, right, final checklist, uh, we got our aerial cable is properly plugged in and our HDMI cable is in. Right, here we go. So everything should be good, I'm going to actually unplug my um, Adapt my splitter adapter that I have for my TV, and I'm going to plug it in directly into the telly so we don't have to slip through and put some things, it'll just work straight off the bat. So, if everything's all good, we should be able to uh, get going. So, I'm going to grab my switch remote that I actually have connected to the box. Uh, I should actually do one step, but I have just forgot, and it'll switch my battery. So, um Oh, we should be alright, it says we've got a bar. Uh, I just got to put my battery, talking about batteries, I need to put batteries in my remote control, as I uh, have forgot to do that, lazy me. That's a checklist, thank goodness I actually did, because uh, otherwise we're going to be working off the uh, in built in button, so I'm just going to put this in a remote. It's just a basic remote, it just has numbers and you know, guides and bits and bobs like that. Uh, so guys, don't be like me. When you, if you want to do a video and you're in videoing, make sure you have everything in steps. Versus me, you just just do it all on the go and then you leave your audience like this. So just be organised, will you? And it helps you out and it helps yourself out a lot. And I'll tell you another thing as well. When we're waiting, that when you go and guess your batteries. I hate it when they put them in these plastics because you can never get them out. But luckily I have. Right, okay, I'm going to shove my batteries quickly into the remote so um, I don't bore you guys to death. You've probably already skipped in by now, I'd have, I'd have thought. Um, right, okay, let's turn the telly on first. And our well, remote is now on. Right, okay. I'll tell you on, my battery light is flashing on my camera, so I'm going to quickly change these batteries because I think this camera's about to die. Okay guys, I can't find any new batteries, so we're just going to have to live with what we've got, but either way, I'm about to turn on the box. Okay, the box has got power, it's got some lights on, there we go. I'm going to turn it actually your way so you can see it. Um, there we go, we've got language, uh, we'll press English, okay. England, we want Portugal, Spain. I wonder if it has Wales on the list. Who knows? We'll have a look. Have a bit of a scroll. Sweden, France. It's got a good, it's got a good load of people here. Uh, no, we're just gonna have to go with England. It doesn't actually have anything at all. Right. Channel search. Okay. I'll have to reprogram it later because um, we actually. Uh, I don't actually have um, it plugged because because the aerial that I'm using this is pointing over here. We have a different. We have the Welsh uh, TV uh, 
band or we have the G Ganada with this and we're pointing to the England band that is the Ganada so uh, we'll have to reprogram this when it's in the conservatory because I can't get any signal from the Ganada or Ganada one from my homemade aerial via from the conservatory so we we'll have to be on the Welsh band so I'll let it do its uh, scan and I'll join you guys back when it's finished okay then guys well, it's now working. I'm going to mute the audio for a reason, but um, for copyright reasons and other stuff. But as you can tell, the Digibox is uh, now working. The operation is oh, it's okay. Um, some of the things are, you know, a bit. We'll say a bit on the different side of things. Like uh, if I go into the TV guide, um, the um, operation is a bit dumb different than the normal to see it'll say all the um, things that are on for the night but well, set though instead of it being in order though you have to scroll through through each channel that you want to look at to see what's on so the operation is a uh, it's all right but it's a bit it could be improved there could be a better improvement but oh well um, it works and it does it does everything that you need a jukebox to so it's just because the op it's just the operation is a bit yeah, let's say a bit nippy, I'll say. But as long as you know what you want to watch, and it's a very easy box, so if I want to say, if I want to just get on this and I want to watch channel, uh, let's say channel 22, if I click channel 22, uh, in a few seconds it'll find it. What it should do, yes, there you go, ideal world. I don't actually think that's just a random number, but there you go. F um, random TV shopping BBC one one and it'll take a few seconds and then it'll boot straight into it so I gotta say for an unofficial non-branded um, briefly speaking yo box 25 pounds for briefly speaking yo can't go wrong it's it's unofficial but it does the job and it you know it does everything a digibox needs to I'm gonna have a go a bit of a fiddle with the recording USB recorder uh, as it claims to be. I'll have a look at a bit of that manual just because I'm not quite sure exactly how it's meant to work um, or how it does it, so I'll have a quick look through there. But either way guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. If you want to see what I how this thing works out with the projector, then please subscribe to the channel and look out for my you know setup thing and I'll see you in my next video. So thanks very much for watching over again. Sorry, I've already said this enough times. And uh, yeah, thanks very much. Cheers!